So this is a really bad timing for me to start the video for multiple reasons. One being I just had an oral surgery and two being I'm in the middle of moving but this is the part of moving that I really wanted to feature and I'm about to get started with it. So this is going to be a fun interesting video if this ever actually becomes a video. and welcome back to my channel. So this video is obviously going to be very different and as I said at the beginning of this video before my little intro, if this half of my mouth doesn't move or look sad or something, I'm still numb and swollen from the oral surgery that I had earlier today. But today is Thursday, it's August 27, yep. <laughs> and um, today we are packing up to move because my husband and I are moving to Minnesota on Saturday but tomorrow is uh, my stepbrother-in-law's birthday, so we kind of want to spend all day with him and celebrating with his family and saying goodbye rather than packing. So, it is 10.30. Yes, it's actually, ooh, legit. It's 10.30 in the morning, and I just finished packing up my clothes and my shoes and, like, all those kinds of things. And so the next major thing to be packing is my bookshelf because here, here, okay, I'm, like, balancing. Here is the thing. So yeah, the camera angle is kind of crazy because everything is being packed up so I can't quite do everything the same as a normal video. Plus I'm going to be moving around a lot. Anyway, I'm going to pack up the books that I want to read that are very important to me, kind of more so my TBR, into my book trunk which I used this past year as a freshman and I absolutely loved it. And what's cool about this book trunk, and I'll show you footage in a minute, um, What's cool about it is that my husband got it for me as a gift on our anniversary, and it's World War II trunk. It carried explosives in World War II, so it's very old, but still, like, works, and so it still has, like, all those printed markings of, like, TNC right here, or charge, or, and, you know, it's, like, it's got all that cool lettering on it, but then what I did is that I took markers, uh, wood-friendly markers, and I wrote some of my favorite bookish quotes, and I wrote some of my favorite quotes from authors, and I also painted leaves and stamped them on there just to give it a little more of a friendlier vibe rather than a, this carries explosives, because while some books may be very explosive, not all of them are, <laughs> I don't know, and then my husband also wrote a cute little note on the inside for me, so I'll show you that footage. So this is the trunk open. My husband wrote a cute little note. Uh, it says, my love for you it is as boundless as the imagination in the books you read. Love, Brennan. It's hard to see, but that is what he wrote because he knows that my favorite thing about reading books is the imagination and the creativity in them. So here I just, you know, I put the books inside, um, but I decorated... Ooh. I decorated the top so like you can see it says ammunition for can with explosive projectile but then like right below I got books are uniquely portable magic um no two persons ever read the same book reading is a form of escape you know I've just got all these different quotes this is my favorite way to travel long distance with books because it will always be labeled what it is and it's it's unique in that it's short but it's long so it can carry quite a few books it does get pretty heavy but that's because a lot of books are heavy so this is what I'm taking my priority books in so I'm gonna like I said I'm just gonna put the more the books that I'm going to read in the trunk I love my trunk and I've been really thinking about doing a video of how to transport books because that's been very crazy and I've been having to do that driving from Michigan to Minnesota is about a 10 hour drive so it is going to be a nice long journey to go on so insert montage of me stacking this full and then I have to go find more boxes for the rest of the books because I am moving all hello hi how are you filming right now yeah but it's fine I love you So I am going to be taking all of my books with me. It's just a matter of books that are coming with me right now this weekend and books and other boxes that my parents will be driving out to Minnesota over Labor Day weekend um, because we have a Prius and while those are great for long distances, those do not have a lot of room and storage. So 
we're taking all of the bare necessities, um, so lots of kitchen things, bathroom things, bed things, and a few clothes um, now, and then some books now if we can fit them, and then my parents will come up in another weekend or so with everything else in my aunt and uncle's truck. And then hopefully we'll be all moved to Minnesota. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get right into it. Caravel by Stephanie Garber, because I have not yet read it. Uh, the Mermaid by Christina Henry, because I'm in the middle of it, and I've been in the middle of it for forever. As well as this is <laughs> The Little Paris Bookshop. I don't want to put this in with the other books, because I don't want it to take up space. <laughs> it's not that important. told by Neil Schusterman, I really want to finish this trilogy, so that book is definitely coming with in the first round. Dracula by Bram Stoker. Look at how beautiful it is. And there are so many other books I want to read as well, so that's definitely coming. Next up is A Song of Rapes and Ruins by Roseanne A. Brown. This this is te this copy is technically an art got it off of a like yard sale kind of thing but it was like for free it was like take a free book and i saw this and i was like yeah i'm gonna take this book for free i've been wanting to read it so like i might buy another copy that's like newer not so tattered and like with the final cover art but uh for now i'm taking this because i definitely want to read it i'm also taking unravel me because same story i have read shatter me and that was it <laughs> but I want to continue with the series, and so now I own Unravel Me, so I can at least continue with the series by reading that one. So that one's coming with. So I'm also going to take, uh, this is The Summoning by Kelly Armstrong. It's the first in a trilogy that my roommate last year gave to me, and I just hadn't read it yet, and I told her I would read it, and then I just flat out didn't read it yet. So I'm definitely taking this trilogy with me, because... I want to read them. Then if you guys have been following my channel, then you know that I've been reading the Twisted Tales Disney books uh, by Liz Braswell and Jen Kalanita. So, um, yeah, if you don't know what those are, they're basically Disney stories, but with a what-if question that just completely twists the entire thing. I have so far read three of them. And I have, I own three more. I own Part of Your World, uh, which is The Little Mermaid. I have Mirror Mirror, which is uh, the, uh, the Snow White here. I'm holding these so far away. And I have uh, Straight On Till Morning, which is Peter Pan, and I'm bringing these with me because December is my month of reading retellings, and I'm super excited. So they're coming with me. Uh, we probably will be coming back home late December for Christmas, but like, we'll see. I want them with me. Okay, and then the last few books that I'm gonna try and fit in the trunk. The trunk is pretty full right now, um, but the last few that I'm gonna try and fit are all books just on my shelf that I just have not yet read. Um, if Again, if you've been following my channel, you know I've been reading a different genre each month, but for the past month of August and most likely this upcoming month of September, I've decided to take a break from it um, just because of everything hectic in my life. Uh, like I just got married and now we're moving. Um, and just with COVID, a lot of the genres I wanted to read are not genres that I own and therefore could not get books of um, because I either couldn't find an audiobook or an ebook version or like, the libraries are not open uh, completely and so I wasn't able to get them. So the next couple months I'm not really following that and I'm just kind of taking a break. Plus it was also starting to put me into a slump which I'd rather read something that I want to read that's not of a different genre rather than reading nothing at all or forcing myself to read. So we're just going to go with, and yes, no, my husband is doing last minute yard work for my parents that he has been working on all summer that he's been wanting to finish up. So he's using the power washer. There's noise. I'm so sorry. Please deal with it. Um, and so that's going to include The Emperor's Blades by Brian Stavely? 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 This one. I'm bringing this book because it was given to me by my mother-in-law and I never read it. And I want to. I just have it. And that book doesn't fit. We may have to rearrange. Um, I'm also going to... I'm also going to bring City of a Thousand Dollars by Miriam Foster because it's on my shelf and I haven't read it. 
I'm reading Before She Ignites by Jody Meadows because, again, it's on my shelf. I started it and I really like the premise for it. And the end. I started it, I like the premise for it. Never got past chapter two. So, bringing that along. So the two that I'm bringing are Golden Hand and Clariel. And um, I, I had thought that I initially read Clariel, but then I hear my brother talk about it and I'm like, I don't remember that at all. So maybe I read it and forgot everything, or maybe I just flat out didn't read it and assumed I did because I finished the F Horsen trilogy. I own these two books and I'm going to try and put them into my trunk. Here lies the problem. I have three books that I want to take that don't fit how it's set up. The two books by Garth Nix and then The Emperor's Blade because they're like big books in that they're too wide. They're not too tall, but they're too wide. So let's see if I can't adjust some things. I can. Yes, no, maybe? No! It does not work, and now I need to go find more boxes to get the rest of the books. So, oh, look. I'm getting a little bit of smile back, a little bit of feeling, a lot of pain, but that's how this goes. The room is such a mess. It's such a mess. Uh. Alright, box hunting. Woohoo, here we go. Bad news, guys. This box is full. This box is full. That box is not like full, but I gotta go through it yet, but it's not a very big box. Those are all full. This is all full from wedding stuff. And. Yeah, everything in the living room is full, and all the boxes we have are in the living room. So, uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have boxes for my books. We're gonna have to go buy some. the store to buy more boxes because we didn't have any more boxes and obviously I need more boxes so I'm gonna put those together and then finish packing up my books huh <laughs> over there but that's all of them four boxes of books not that much but at the same time a lot of books so I may just catch up with you guys Ooh, I'm trying to rip it I may just catch up with you guys about this move in Minnesota when I'm unpacking this may be in two parts just because my computer can't handle it so um uh, this is probably gonna be part one packing up and then part two will be after we've moved to Minnesota, unpacking and organizing, and then I can do an official bookshelf tour, because hopefully those shelves will be a little more organized than these ones were, um, but I was only going to be here for the summer anyway, so. 
Yay! Um, so that actually might just be the end of this video then, if I'm gonna do it in two parts. So, So yeah, that'll be the end of part one of moving. Um, so if you liked this video, let me know by clicking the like button, commenting down below. Let me know if you guys are moving back to school or if you're able to just stay at home and do school online at home. And then if you are moving, let me know your best tips and tricks for moving because obviously I don't have a lot. Um, so yeah, comment, click the subscribe button for more videos. I am going to start posting more regularly. I post at the beginning of every month, um, but I'm hoping to be posting more regularly than that going forward. So with that, I would like to wish you all a happy reading.